Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. TLDR, you don't feel like watching the video, you can go to llod.us slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S, and that's where I'm gonna compile a big list of even more than I talk about in this video. So feel free to just go there, and that's where I'm giving you the gift ideas. So for the last several years, I think four years, maybe even five years now, Every year I've done a Christmas gift idea video because I'm kind of the gear guy, right? Uh, and this year has been by far the busiest year of my life. I was gonna skip it, I just didn't have time. And literally probably 100, 200 people have reached out to me via messages, emails, comments, asking for it, asking when it's gonna go live, yada, yada, yada. It should have gone live weeks ago, probably, but I haven't done it. So I'm gonna ramble for a little bit here. So if you just want to get to the gear, I'll put a timestamp down here, but I would appreciate if you listen. So right here, right here, what you're seeing right now are my channel sponsors. So a couple months now, maybe a few months now, I have had five companies come behind me and support what I'm doing here on the channel. So Magpul, Pelican, Dometic, Diamondback Truck Covers, and Front Runner Outfitters. Uh, I gave five companies the opportunity to kind of formally sponsor the channel. COVID happened, stuff was weird, a lot of shows and traveling and things got canceled and uh, my <laughs> income went down because of it. And some of these companies had extra marketing dollars and they've been wanting to kind of like rally behind me for a bit. So these companies are financially supporting me every month. I'm not getting rich off of it, but they're helping kind of cover the costs of some of what's going on here. They said, hey, we like what you're doing. We like what you stand for. We're going to rally behind you and support you. So those five companies are, they're, they're sponsoring me. Like they're, they're sponsoring me like I'm a professional athlete or something, but I'm just a professional adventurer, gear reviewer, YouTube video maker. So I'm super, super humbled and thankful for their support. But if you were ever wondering what's going on with that, what, what, what's going on there? Why are these logos appearing on my screen? Those are my sponsors. So I'm giving them a little bit of extra marketing advertisement for their financial support here on the channel. Uh, so yeah, hugely thankful. The reason I'm talking about that in this video is because Christmas gifts, they all make gear, they all make products. They've been companies that I've been friends with and supported and they've supported me for years. And they're just industry leaders, solid dudes at those companies. Uh, and so for Christmas, if you feel like buying some products, those five companies are a great place to start. And thank you to them. Thank you if any of you guys are listening out there. But anyway, you should, you should be stoked on that because they could spend their marketing dollars anywhere. So if you support me and you like what I'm doing on the channel, be stoked that they do too and be stoked about them as brands. So that's that. Another thing I've been working through the years now to really get you guys deals, my audience. So I have a website, llod.us, and I have a page on that website, llod.us slash coupons. I talk about it in a lot of videos because it's kind of how I make a living on the channel, honestly, is through affiliate commission. If you click these links, then some of them, not all of them, but some of those links or some of those codes you use, I get a small, tiny percentage kickback on the sales, and that's kind of how I help support what's going on. The main benefit is I get you guys discounts at places. So if you're ever looking for sales or if you ever would just wanna help support what I'm doing here, llod.us slash coupons is always a great place to look. Appreciate you using those. So yeah, this year, Christmas is crazy. 2020 is crazy. My life is crazy. There's a lot of news. I'm going to talk about it. I already filmed a video where I'm talking about it, but I think I'm going to upload that after this video. But in this last video, I was like, oh, there's some exciting news in a couple of months. And Ashley's not pregnant, so that's not a thing. Not that we're not going to shoot for that at some point in the future, but it's not a thing. So before rumors get all kinds of crazy, that wasn't what I was talking about. I was actually talking about uh, some land, a property opportunity. Uh, that that I have that I'm that I'm pursuing another way to support what I do I also have a side business. I have a holster company I don't talk about it all the time and shove it down your throats or anything like that, but I sell uh, primarily appendix carry concealed carry holsters 
you can go to llod.us slash holsters. I made a whole video talking about this specific model, but yeah, I make holsters and I sell other stuff. I sell my favorite belt. So I reviewed belts for a long time and I concealed carry and I EDC'd forever. And then Blue Alpha made this belt. I loved it so much. I said, guys, can we collab? Can you make that belt for me? And I sell it on my website. So this is the, there's a little bit of LLOD branding on these. You buy them through my website, llod.us slash belt or belts, I forget. You can get a belt. I also sell hats like this multicam black baby right here. I sell some patches and stickers and stuff like that. So if you want to support me like very directly, you can shop for, for my merchandise and gear. Support my small little business. I appreciate every order that comes through. I appreciate you. Thank you. But yeah, okay, enough with the announcements. Let's get into the gear. So every year, I have a drink, I have some drinkware. This is some spiked hot chocolate. I felt like it was kind of, kind of Christmassy. It's snowing outside here in Colorado right now, but it's a good transition to talk about drinkware. This is a Stanley Stein. It's a great thing to drink. It's, it's insulated stainless steel, great for beer, great for any beverages. I think every man and woman needs a Stein. Historically, I was like, this is the tactical guy's Christmas gift idea, but some people didn't like that. And there's some, you know, there's some cool chicks out there that are into like the dude stuff. So this is just like the outdoor adventure, survivalist, tactical, whatever gift guide for men and women. But I'm a man, so I kind of gear it that way. So drinkware, because it's good to stay hydrated. So a Stein is great, Stanley is cool. This is a Nalgene. I talk about it in a lot of videos. It's really weird for me to talk about because it's a water bottle, but I drink a lot of water. I stay hydrated and the Nalgene bottle is nice because I like the indicator of how much is in here. I drink like mixed powdered drinks and zip fizz and stuff. So I like having that right on the side and I try to drink a lot of water and the OTF lid is the easiest thing to drink out of, especially when you're off-roading and driving. You don't wanna drink out of those big mouth things and slosh it all over your face. So this drinkware is great. This is a water filter slash water bottle. You take this thing out of here. It's from Grail. You take this thing out, you fill this with water, dip it in a stream, pop this in, and then you use your body weight to push it down and that filters the water out. And then the water is contained in the inner thing in here and then you drink straight from the bottle or you pour this into another water bottle. So this is a great, looks cool. They come in some cool colors. Water filter slash water bottle. This thing is awesome. So then let's talk some brief, very basic lighting. So camping, I really like this. This is the Goal Zero Crush. It has a little solar panel and a battery and you can charge it with USB as well. And it's a lantern, it has RGB, it has a bunch of different modes. You can set it on a table, you can hang it on something and then it collapse to very flat, easy to pack, lightweight and relatively cheap. So this is good for just around the house, prepper, disaster, lights, power out, grid down, but mostly camping. Great little lantern that I like. I'm trying to only pick kind of one thing per category in the light department. And then we have a headlamp. This is the BioLite headlamp. They have a few of them. This is the lightest, smallest one. Uh, and it is so comfortable and so lightweight and just easy to use. And I like the design and it's comfortable, has various modes, flashing and you know, whatever. Headlamp, no nonsense, reflective back. Very cool, probably my favorite headlamp out right now. And then we have an EDC light. I've been trying to cut back on the Olight videos because they're just out of control on YouTube. So I didn't even do a Black Friday one or anything like that. But I should have because they recently announced my absolute favorite flashlight. This is a flashlight I've been trying to get them to make for years and they never did. And then finally they're, they're making it. This is what I would consider the perfect EDC flashlight. Uh, it has a magnetic rechargeable tail cap, 
also magnetic so you can stick it on the side of things. I wish the magnet was just a tiny bit stronger, but as you can see here, it can hold itself up on metal. Now the interesting thing about this is yeah, it has a ton of lumens, but it has a side switch for the admin mode so you can get to moonlight, which is like ultra light, like barely on mode by long pressing it. You can probably hardly tell it's on. And then you can cycle through the ba basic three modes from the side switch right here. So I call that the admin button because it's good for administrative tasks, whatever, not tactical. But then the tail cap is really nice for your tactical mode, you get it out, you wanna scan a scene, you have your gun out, you wanna do FBI, whatever you wanna do. It has a tail cap, fits perfectly in the hand, has a really good belt clip that you can also reverse mount for like a headlamp mode as well. So it's very, just the most functional flashlight, perfect size, crazy bright output. Uh, this is called the Olight Warrior Mini. I wish a US company was making this flashlight, but we don't have a US company making this flashlight. So it's Olight. It's my favorite flashlight of all time. It's in my pocket. I, if, I were to, if I were to design, if I could design the light and make a couple of changes, but it would be this flashlight. Great tactical flashlight, great administrative flashlight, great camping flashlight. The magnet makes it great for automotive use, using it, you know, sticking on your hood, working on your truck, just, if I could recommend you one light, it would be, it would be this light. Uh, and full disclosure, there's not a single product I'm gonna be talking about that a company has like paid me to be in this video or anything like that. Affiliate commission, again, that's kind of how I make my stuff. So using any of my links will help the channel out, but I don't care what of these brands you support necessarily. It's just, these are all legitimately products that I love. So this, we have another EDC item. This is my main jams, the Leatherman Skeletal. Leatherman seriously should write me a check for a million dollars because I've sold so many of these things and I get stories all the time about how people love them. They're not for everyone. Like my friend Talon got one because of me. I was like, ah, I just don't use the tools enough. So I think it's like, if you use the tools enough, it's worth it. Otherwise, you're probably better off with a regular light. But this is a multi-tool, pliers, bottle opener, screwdrivers, and I tinker and I'm working on stuff all the time. So it's small, it's lightweight. Sorry, I haven't even been paying attention to what the focus has been doing. Leatherman Skeletool and Leatherman Bit Kit is just a great little combo thing. So this has, and I will make sure to get focus here, has all of these bits. So if you don't have, if you live in an apartment or you just in, in, a, in a car or a van and you want like a pretty dope bit set that's very small and lightweight and takes up no room that you can easily keep on you, uh, this is a great kit. I don't live in an apartment or a car and I have more tools than any man should have. Just kidding, you can never have enough tools. But I still use the bit kit quite a bit. And this is another little thing you can get for it. It's the bit extender. So the bit extender plugs into here and kind of turns this into more of like a, you know, usable screwdriver. I very rarely use the bit extender, but it's worth mentioning. And then while we're on the topic of EDC, we got to talk about a few knives. This is the Spidey Spyderco PM2. Just an absolute awesome folder. Legendary for a lot of reasons. This is in a limited edition uh, OD. Blade HQ does some limited runs of these. I That might be where I got this. I'm not sure, but PM2, Spyderco, made in Colorado, awesome. This is another one of my favorites, the ZT Sinkovich, just small, probably the smoothest knife I own. Carries very well, carbon fiber if you're into it. Great steel, great metal, great action. Awesome, awesome knife. And then another one here, whoop. And then this guy here is also OD, is the Benchmade Bailout. This one has a little glass breaker on the end. It's a cool knife, has the axis lock like a lot of Benchmades do. So you can whoop, just close it right up like that. Again, very thin, very sleek, carries very well. Uh, so those are kind of three of my favorite folders right now that I think anybody would benefit from having them in their collection. 
I would consider them on the high end, though, for a knife person. These are kind of mid, mid-range mid knives, but for a lot of people, those are pretty high-end knives, so they're not too cheap. Then on the fixed blade spectrum, I just have two here. This is the SE 3 made in USA, no-nonsense warranty. You break it, throwing it at a boulder or something, you can send it in, and they will replace it or fix it for you. I've beat this thing up like crazy. This is the orange with kind of the OD-ish colored painted blade. Uh, great small knife. They have an SC4 and an SC5 if you want bigger stuff, but the SC3 is kind of a nice little manageable size. And then another knife that I absolutely love, it's just a beast. The, the, the tang, the blade, the metal is so thick and chunky. This is a knife that you would be, it would be hard to break it honestly. It's a bush crafting knife technically uh, and I use it for camping, food prep. I'd use it to kill a bear, uh, the Benchmade Bush Crafter. And you can get it with this special edition if you want. Hopefully my dog's not around. He goes crazy for this stuff but ooh, look at that. Hopefully I don't catch anything on fire but I'm just doing some little ones. Has a fire steel this is the fire rod there, uh, and that is just, it's an awesome, awesome knife. When we're talking about sharp things, if you guys know me, you know I love my axes. So this is just a cheap Fisker's axe. I have probably six of these in my cars, around my yard. I, I do axe stuff. I heat my house with wood, firewood that I harvested and split from my own trees on my own land. So this is honestly like one that I use a lot. I have a bigger one that I use primarily if I'm just going for some splitting. But this, if I were to have one ax, uh, and especially if you don't have a huge budget, but even if you do, if I were to have one ax, it would be this, it's just a, it's the go-getter. It's like the 28 inch chopping, I think. I think it's around 50 bucks, but it is, I mean, it's just a great ax. If you think you're never gonna use an ax, but you kind of want one, and but you don't have much room or whatever, they make a smaller one. They make all kinds of sizes, X11, 15, 17. This I think is the smallest one, the hatchet, but still a nice little zombie killing tool. But I mean, good for making kindling. You could get after some bigger wood, uh, but it would take some real sweat equity to get into it. But a nice little like almost stocking stuffer size hatchet that is still a quality piece. Now, if you want something a little fancier, if your guy has a little classier taste or girl, or you just want something that's going to be more of a, you know, maybe you pass it down to your kids one day or something, and it just kind of weathers and you oil it and all that stuff. This is a Gransfors. This is a legendary axe, the small forest axe. Though they have a bigger one, I think it's the Scandinavian forest axe or something that I probably would opt for. But this is the famous one. This is the one that kind of if your guy, if you think your guy might want an ax or if he's into bushcrafting or something like that, uh, this is, this is it. This is it. The Grands Frizz Brooks small forest ax. Beautiful ax. Uh, these are kind of hand forged, but not quite hand forged. Uh, and they have their makers marking in them and everything. Anyway, kind of a legendary ax. Now here, if you're truly balling, this is a Winkler. This is a Winkler Knives. This, I believe, is the Camp Axe. It's very small. It's kind of hatchet, tomahawk, axe hybrid. The metal on this, I don't know if you can tell, is just chunk a lunk delicious. Uh, my friend Jack Carr, who Jack Carr books would be a great gift as well, I just loved his Winkler Tomahawk so much that I really, really wanted one. Blade HQ gifted me this. This is a high dollar, expensive things. I'm great friends with the Blade HQ guys. Love them to death. They sent this to me as a gift, and it's one of those things. It's like a prized possession for me now. I'll probably use it and abuse it because I'm a user of gear, but I'll have a hard time knowing I could use and abuse all these other cheaper axes, but this is just, it's a beautiful piece, and if you want something that is just like very nice, then a Winkler is the way to go. Love it if you bought them from Blade HQ. 
Uh, and this is a this is a cricket, but I can't say cricket because people will go crazy. CRKT. This is the Kangi T Hawk, a little tomahawk. It's not the cheapest thing, but not the most expensive thing. I think it's a little over a hundred bucks. But if you just want like a no nonsense, like very well made tomahawk. So this is like a killy boy. It's got the spike. It's like fully sharpened on the top. Great for throwing. Uh, ama actually, Ashley got this for my birthday this year, I think, uh, and I love it. But another kind of, this is a tomahawk though. It's not an ax, tomahawk. But they do have one with kind of more of the hammer pommel end that's not a spike that you can get as well. I think that one's called the Chogan. So now you got a bunch of cool things and you need places to put them. Magpul has been continually expanding their line of pouches, the DACA, D-A-K-A. -A. Some people say DACA, DACA pouches. They have a variety. Some of them are clear. They're just, they're made by Magpul, which is just the coolest company out there. And now they have these pouches that are kind of expandable. So they kind of expand and can stand up when you fill them. So you use them as ammo bags. I use them as snack bags a lot. I keep some chargers and batteries for my drones and camera gear and stuff in these bags, but just great water repellent, stain resistant bags if you're just looking for a place to store gear. Now, if you have more gear than Pelican, I love, everyone loves Pelican cases made in the USA. Uh, this is a travel case. This is a Pelican Air 1535, I believe. Yeah, 1535. So this is my travel case. And the reason I went with orange is because if someone is gonna like try and steal a case out from under you or you know, take it off of the carousel and it's this bright orange pelican case, then they're pretty ballsy to do it. It's not just like a black case that looks like everything else. I went for orange because A, when I'm out camping or out doing stuff, I don't wanna accidentally leave an OD case behind. Like, you know, I set it, you know, I put it somewhere to use as a, as a step or a stool or a bench, and then I'm packing up and I don't see it because it kind of blends in. I like orange for a lot of that kind of stuff. There are cases, I have plenty of OD and FTE cases, I love those too, but for a case that I'm using a lot and I know will be out places, I opt for orange, especially a travel case that I could be doing airport stuff with. Okay, then we have body armor, right? Or pack armor. So the, the sh ones I'm gonna show you right now are really designed to put in like little packs. So Defender, really by my request, they're making this for Travis Haley. Uh, they did kind of a limited run of this super thin, so it doesn't have any padding on the back of it. And I saw this at their booth at SHOT Show, and I was like, can you make that in different sizes? And they're like, yeah, I don't see why not. So I said, please do that. Uh, so I'm sure other people requested it, but kind of by my request, they started producing these. They're just the thinnest hard panels ever. These ones are pistol rated, but they're so light and so small and so thin that you can put it in a bag and not even know it's there. Did you know I was in a circus before? Uh, so Defender makes some really cool panels. They make rifle chest panels. They make all kinds of armor. Premier as well. Been a long time fan of Premier, made in USA. And they were one of the originals who started making panels in various sizes. Uh, and the reason, you know, this panel is kind of like a crazy big size is because they make panels for my favorite backpacks, and so does Defender. So this is the Vertex, uh, and I have coupon codes with Vertex as well and a bunch of companies, but this is the gamut. This is my EDC laptop bag. Uh, I'm still doing a little bit of web development by profession, so I'm a, a write code. This is my favorite bag of all time, the gamut. Uh, and both of these companies make bulletproof panels that fit into these backpacks. Uh, and Vertex makes special pockets for these, so it's like peanut butter and jelly. So you can check out those things, and if you're like, why do you need a bulletproof panel in your backpack? Well, you don't, but why not, right? Adds very little weight, doesn't really add any bulk, and you're literally walking around with bulletproof armor on your back. I can't think of anything cooler, especially if you live in the ghettos. Now, footwear, boots, stuff like that. 
So my absolute all-time favorite Crocs, right? Crocs, sponsor me if you're watching this. Crocs, I know very few outdoorsmen who have tried Crocs and not made Crocs a part of their life. Ultra lightweight, breathable, you can wear them with socks, my jam, because it's cold or without. Uh, you can wear them in the river just after a long day of hunting or hiking or whatever. You just want to peel those boots off and let those puppies breathe. Throw on some Crocs to walk around at the camp. It is, I mean, seriously, only, like, I don't know anybody that makes fun of Crocs that is actually like a true outdoorsman because most true outdoorsmen have embraced Crocs. So it's mostly city boys that make fun of Crocs, but even city boys like their Crocs too. Uh, so then shoes, we're kind of going up. Shoes to boots. So the Solomon, I don't even know what they are anymore. XA Pro Crump 3D Ultra. Uh, there's probably newer models out. These are kind of my all time favorite shoe. Just awesome. They're a trail running shoe technically but they're great for range work, great for short hikes, great for kicking around, whatever. Uh, a lot of high-speed guys like Solomons and wear them a lot, uh, and it's not just because they're cool, it's because they're awesome shoes. The other pair of Solomons I like a lot are the Speed Cross. These are Speed Cross 4s. They have insane, almost cleat-like traction. Again, a trail running shoe. These are lighter weight. Good shoe for you know short hikes and if you're into trail running as well. So then we have boots. We'll go from kind of cash to, to more robust. These are the Danner Vertigo 917s. These are kind of the more city light casual version of the Mountain 600s in my mind. Like the styling is somewhat similar. So this is not like a heavy duty work boot. This is more of a a lifestyle boot or whatever, but it is Gore-Tex, it's waterproof. If you're in the snow like I am, I wear boots for like half the year. So these are a nice boot when I know I'm not gonna be hiking 30 miles, though these boots could handle that fine. But these are kind of my, these are kind of my around town boots. And like I just mentioned, the Mountain 600s are kind of your more heavy duty, serious boots. This is a legendary boot, waterproof as well. Uh, good traction, amazing looks. They'll kind of just get more patinaed and beautiful over time as you wear them. Every guy and girl just needs a solid pair of boots, honestly. And then another all-time, long-time favorite of mine is the Salmon Quest 4D. These are the GTXs, and these are like the, the special edition that you can get from Tactical Distributors. Basically, you can go to tacticaldistributors.com use my link preferably, and that's just a gift guide in and of itself. Everything that they sell is awesome, uh, but they are just a great supplier of Arcteryx and Solomon, as well as their own kind of in-house brands and a bunch of other brands as well, but I get all of my Solomons from Tactical Distributors. Speaking of Arcteryx, this is still one of my all-time cold weather favorite no-nonsense jackets this is the cold wx hoodie love this thing it's got room for patches so pick up a patch while you're at it on the side over here we got a t haley patch great jacket love it this what i'm wearing right here this is a cool flannel k funny u h l flannel and i like it because it's got this fleecy soft line stuff you see me wearing this flannel a lot in my videos especially in the winter, because it's just so warm and comfortable. I like how it looks. I like how it feels. It's probably my most worn outerwear item because it doesn't, you know, it's nicer, it's quieter, it's softer, it's more comfortable than a jacket, but it's insulated, so it's very good. It's not waterproof at all, so if it's raining or snowing or whatever, I usually won't wear this or I'll wear something over it but I love this thing. I think I have a code, LLOD gets free shipping at Cool. And Cool makes a bunch of good flannels and jackets. I also really like there the one, the what's called the one hoodie. I like that a lot. This is another flannel, this is a new one. I got it uh, kind of before it's out, but it's for pre-order. This is from a cool company called Off The Grid Surplus. This is their ambush technical flannel. I think I have a coupon code with them as well, LLOD. Just basically try LLOD anywhere. 
and it may save you some money. But these, this company is kind of a company that's geared towards the off-road overland crowd. They're like vehicle, vehicle motorsports apparel brand. So if you're tired of your other companies, your Patagonias and stuff, not being all about that overlanding life, uh, then Off The Grid is a company that is like diehard off-road clothing company. And they also make a pair of pants that I really like. I forget what they're called, honestly. I, I, I work with so many different clothing companies, I'm not good at remembering the, the models on stuff. But these and then the Vertex Delta Stretches, which I'll talk about in a second, are my two, they're my two kind of go-to pants. These ones are the thin ones. I think they're the Trail Blazer Pros. And they're pretty good for mountain biking, honestly, because the legs are thin. They're a little thinner than I like. They now have a regular fit one. But the thin ones, if you're into the skinnies, are good. My favorite jams still are the Vertex Delta Stretches. Uh, they just kind of restocked their 2.1s, which brought back the leather, the little leather accent here. And they have the mag pockets, and they're just so, so comfortable. And their pockets are perfect. So the Delta Stretch, uh, the Vertex Delta Stretch is still my favorite and I have a huge coupon code there, LLOD. And then Beyond Clothing, they're making some of my favorite jackets right now. Uh, this is the, I have a bunch of their jackets. I think this is like the K3 Prima Loki, I don't know, I'll, I'll link them. This is a reversible jacket, so it's kind of like you get two for one. It's kind of got this like quilted uh, black side, which is how I wear it out most of the time. And then it's got like this cool woodland, like inner liner, but you can flip it around and have the woodland on the outside as well. And everyone likes God's plaid. So this jacket, you know, is a really, it's not a super heavyweight jacket. It's relatively lightweight and small. You can see it compresses down pretty good, but a very comfortable, uh, very good fitting jacket. This is, I usually will throw this on and if I'm gonna be out in zero degree weather for a long time, I would need more than this. But if it's zero degrees out and I'm just kind of going back and forth to my car and doing whatever and running errands, then I'll wear this jacket. And then beanies, Magpul just released my current favorite beanie. Uh, this is the, I think it's the Tundra beanie and they have it in a few colors. My favorite is this tan one. Uh, they have it in OD and some other colors. And then they also have it in bright orange. So bright orange, why would you want a bright orange beanie? Hunters already know this. But even if you don't hunt and you're out camping, you're out hiking, you're out doing whatever in nature, especially during hunting season, it's not a bad idea to throw on an orange beanie. I actually also throw on this beanie when we're out walking the dogs and it's you know at dusk or at nighttime or whatever. High visibility is good. A, you don't want to get shot by accident, and you don't want to get hit by a car by accident. So it's just a smart idea to wear bright colors if you're in potential hunting land or just if you don't know if you're in hunting land but you're out in the woods. Not a bad idea to toss on an orange beanie, uh, which is why I made my LLOD beanies, which I was too lazy to make again this season, in orange because orange is great. And this is like crazy hunter high-vis orange. It's like so bright, the camera sensor is having a hard time with it right now. But these beanies are the bomb. And then my hats, obviously. Oof. Okay, we're winding down. We're getting into some randoms. So this is, these two panels are from Off Grid Trek. Uh, great company. They sell a bunch of kind of survival prep related items. Their solar panels are the bomb. So if you're in a survival overland preparedness, whatever, solar panels are awesome. I did a whole video on solar panels. I'm not going to get into it too much. They're great paired with stuff like this. I just grabbed a little one because it was easy to carry. This is the Goal Zero Yeti 500X. I have like a dozen of these things. I test them all the time. I love them. They're great for overlanding to power fridges, charge batteries, whatever like that. Kind of negates the need for a dual battery setup on your truck or whatever. And they're good for the end of the world. They're good for a prepper item. They're good for blackouts, grid down, or, or whatever. You want to go have a little picnic. You want to run a projector in the backyard for your kids. One of these things is great. All right, now we're getting into some small random stuff. I meant to talk about it earlier, but you can get these now. These are the Daka cans. 
uh, and you can get them in black, OD, FDE. But also, if you get a pair of sunglasses, which these are the Magpul Explorers, this is what I'm wearing most of the time, my favorite sunglasses, these will come free in a case. It's kind of a sunglasses case, but you can use it for all kinds of stuff. It's a little, it's a little cool, it's the coolest case money can buy. But if you're in the market for some sunglasses, comes with a free case, Magpul, awesome stuff. I can't make a video and not talk about medical equipment. This is just some random one from North American Rescue, but an IFAC medical gear, never a bad idea to get. Uh, so, med kits. So this is a little kettle. This is a random one, but I just, I'm a nerd and I love these kind of things. This is from GSI. It's a little kettle. I actually use the bigger version of this primarily, but this is the little guy. It's just a little, I think it's aluminum. I don't think it's titanium, but a super lightweight camping kettle. And I, I don't know, I just, I nerd out about this stuff, but it's just, I don't know. It's so cool, a kettle. Boil water in it. This is a little jet boil. This is a flash. Uh, you can cook stuff in it, but also it's just the fastest way to boil water. Works great at any temp, any elevation pretty much compact, lightweight. Uh, if you want to do like I did with Ashley and take your girl or your guy on a little sunset trip and go make them some coffee out on the mountains, jet boils what you're wanna gonna what you're gonna want to use for that. Paracord, I use paracord all the time. Paracord has a billion trillion uses. This is on a little thing called a spool tool. It has a little lighter in here, has a little razor blade cutter. So it's kind of a paracord utility tool, but you can also store paracord on it. So you use it, you cut it, you can burn the ends, pull it through the hole. It's just, if you're gonna have paracord, you should have a spool tool. Good stuff. Ham radio, another prepper survival overlanding item. Recommend you get your ham license to be legit. But even if not, you can use them in an emergency or, you know, world's probably gonna end soon. So good item to have. These little bow fangs, bow fangs, bite fangs are, they're, they're kind of, they're not, they're not great, but they're cheap. Good to have and they work. Here's one, pepper spray. For, for those that are like uh, insecure about themselves, they'll like really bash pepper spray. But I carry a gun every day of my life, everywhere. Carry knives, I love knives, axes, fists, punching people. But sometimes pepper spray is the right, the right tool for the job. Uh, I could make a whole video on pepper spray, maybe, but animals, predators, maybe a, a, a mama bear defending her cubs is coming at you and they don't deserve a bullet. So you hit them with some pepper spray. They live, you live, everyone has a happy day. Some drunk person pounding on your window, impeding you, get out, there's a riot down the road, blah, blah, blah. But this guy, you know, he doesn't deserve a bullet to the face. What he deserves is pepper spray to the face. There's a million times when pepper spray is a great, great alternative to lethal force. So I got this, they're big. So they're, they're a bigger canister, they have a belt clip, they have higher output, they have further range. So it's kind of in between those little like, you know, little keychain ones and like a big old bear spray riot type one. Uh, this is great. You buy a six pack, I keep them in all my vehicles, I keep them, you know, around for Ashley and whatnot. Uh, Great option. And the last one, I like to do these like stocking stuffer thingies. And I don't know where my big bag is, but these are little expandable towels. So they come in this little like, almost like pill size. It'd be a monster pill, but almost pill size. And then you add a little bit of water and it turns into like a wet paper towel, but it's more, has more structural integrity than a paper towel. So good for washing stuff, wiping your butt, cleaning your face, not in that order. But you drop a few of these in little uh, stocking stuffers and stuff, and it's fun, you know, fun for the kids to play with or whatever. So I think that's it. This is a pretty long video, but honestly a smaller, a smaller Christmas gift list than I usually do. But I think some people sometimes just like watching this video for entertainment because people know that I have a passion for gear. And this is one of those videos where I just get to grab a bunch of random gear and talk about it. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to set a reminder in my calendar to 2021, if we're still around, to do this video earlier, maybe like end of October, 
beginning of November. So people have time to shop and plan things out for their Black Friday sales and everything. So uh, again, definitely appreciate you using my links and my coupon codes, like really, truly appreciate that. Even if you're gonna buy something and you take an extra five seconds to go to llod.us slash coupons and just click my link and then buy it, like hugely thankful. Like I couldn't do any of this stuff without your support. So I always just wanna, I wanna let you know, I'm, I really, I really appreciate the support uh, through the years. It's been an incredible journey, this YouTube thing. Uh, it's been just a huge blessing and it's been a lot of fun. So I'm glad I can, I can make a living talking about gear and showing you the stuff that I like. As always, try to be as honest and unbiased as I possibly humanly can uh, because there's no reason for me not to, because honesty is the best policy. Uh, and Christmas, Christmas, tis the season to be jolly. So 2020 has been a rough year for pretty much everyone, except I think billionaires have been making out pretty good this year. But for the rest of us, it's been a rough year. So I'm there with you. It's been a rough year for me too, but still a great year with, with a bunch of blessings. And yeah, you know, Think about checking out church, going to, going to, actually churches are closed. But if you're like, you know, an atheist or whatever, that's cool. You know, you do you. It's, it's all good. I still love you. But if you are a Christian, sweet. And if you've ever been curious about it, just check it out. There's a online churches. Uh, my church is Flatirons Community Church in Colorado. Pastor Jim over there. Awesome dude, gun guy, hunter, just pro two-way. I think he's got Molo Labe tattooed like on his forearm or something. So if you're looking for a church to check out and you want to like just watch them online, Flatirons Community Church, check them out. They, they don't sponsor me or anything. They just, they have good messages and a great worship team. And I know some of the leadership there and they're just good people. So yeah, if you want to check out some Christmas services this this year, have at it be dope uh and yeah there's a lot of other cool stuff coming up next week i'm posting a video uh that i did with toyota that will be part of a three-part series uh where toyota brought me out to moab and let me rip around in this brand new built up tacoma through moab and that was fun so that's coming up i'll talk more about it later probably but yeah, this video is already the longest video I've made all year, and I hope you enjoyed every second of it. I've had a good time hanging out here by myself in front of the camera. Uh, it's been fun. But yeah, guys, until next time, take care.